Okay, so we have to talk. Excuse my appearance, I'm just back from a run. That's a conversation I have with every single one of my clients, so I figured I would have it with you as well. The problem right now is that you don't believe that you can actually achieve your goals. You don't believe that you can lose the weight. You don't believe that you can show up and do the workout and eat healthy. And the fact that you have that mindset of, eh, I'm going to fuck it up anyways at some point, even if it's unconscious, even if you don't actively say it, is what's fucking you up because it's going to be behind every single self-sabotage actions that you're going to take in the future or that you're taking right now. You got to ask yourself, where the fuck is that thought coming from? Who taught me that? Who said that I was not able to actually reach my goals? Who said that I was not actually, you know, someone who follows through and someone who succeeds and who does the things that they say they do? And that's a conversation I have with a lot of my clients. Too many, I guess, but I wish I didn't. But that's something that comes from often like a parent or a sibling. It may not have been something they said out loud in the sense of iterating these exact words, but something that they would convey um, in a way. And something that got ingrained in your mind of, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm not someone who does things like that because, you know, maybe it's in my genetics and I've seen my mom diet her entire life and, you know, that's just my path as well. So I'm not going to succeed because she didn't. So why would I? Or maybe you failed in the past and then you fall off the bandwagon and you felt, well, uh, fuck it. I, I guess I'm not someone who follows through and who gets the things done. I want you to look into your past and that's what I tell Every time I have a conversation like that with my client, I tell them, okay, look into the past and find something that you did that was hard and that you actually did. Not fat loss, fitness related, just something that was hard that you followed through and that you did. It can be like, you know, an exam, it can be career-wise, it can be anything, even having kids, damn it, it's, hard. it's tough, okay? Or, or having a successful relationship, like all those things are tough and you have to follow through and be there every single day and take the actions and sometimes you're going to fall off and then you're going to get back and the point is, I know that there is something that you've done multiple things that were hard and that you actually followed through and that you actually did and, and that you got right and you succeeded and you've reached that goal. You right now achieved some of the goals that you had in the past, so remind yourself of that and say, okay, yeah, I'm actually someone, I can see it on fucking paper that I'm someone who follows through and who does, like reaches their goal and does the thing they said they'd do. So why not fat loss? Well, because it's uncomfortable and sometimes I'm like, I still wanna enjoy life. Well, now, for those of you who, you know, have a parent who's been dieting their entire life and who probably passed that on to you is that something you want to pass on to your child is that something that you want your children to see you dieting and maybe making comments on your own weight or on their weights because that's something that sometimes you do and it slips and you're like shit but you might do that if you don't fix the shit now you may not be able to fix it in the future and actually would impact your kids Sometimes it's a good enough reason to actually say, okay, I can go through that six months, a year, three months sometimes of, you know, discomfort and of being a little bit hungry and of having to work out a bit more and, you know, of having to figure my shit out and figure out why am I not healthy at the moment and why can't I have a better lifestyle for myself that I wish I could have. And, you know, saying, okay, this discomfort right now is so worth it in the future for myself, for my kids, for the lineage that's coming after me. And sometimes that would be a good enough you know reason for you to actually say you know what yeah true let's do that every time i have that conversation with clients the week after like once we have that discussion they always leave with some journaling homework and after they've done that they always come back having a better vision of themselves having a better vision of what we're doing and you know having just a better mindset altogether and that allowed them to have amazing transformation afterwards so i think that was worth sharing uh, that's going to be a short as fuck video but i really wanted to have that talk with you as well and you know tell yourself the reason why you don't do the things is because you don't actually believe you can do it and you can you can it's not it's not that special it's just a mindset game and it's just being okay with being uncomfortable for a little while because it is going to be an uncomfortable, you know, it is, I'm sorry, I'm shaking you a bit. It is going to be an uncomfortable journey, but it doesn't have to be miserable. That doesn't mean take unsustainable action. That means you're going to be a little bit hungry. It's going to be tough every so often because the weight is not going to go down every single day and you'll still have to show up 
and that's okay <laughs> uh, that it doesn't go down and that's where the discomfort lies i'm not saying take unsustainable actions i do not do that with my clients we always have like a small deficit and not working out every day we've got rest day we've got high protein we've got like balance they still eat their favorite food like i'm not saying that to encourage unsustainable actions far from that but I'm saying it's going to be uncomfortable a little bit. It's going to be having to face, you know, your self-sabotage tendencies and all of that, basically. And that's part of the process. And that will help you definitely get to your goals. And I'm going to stop rambling now because I think I got my point across, hopefully. Uh, but if you have any questions or if you need any help, feel free to, you know, DM me. I'm always available and I always love to chat with you guys. And if you're someone who wants to lose, you know, 20 plus pounds within the next 90 days without starving yourself, without spending hours on the treadmill, without spending hours cooking either, and of course, without gaining the weight back, then I highly suggest you book a call down below. We'll talk about whether or not you're a good fit for the program and I can actually help you out. And if I can, then let's just start right away. And if you do everything I say, and if you don't see the results, I refund you in full because this is how confident I am that my method works. I've done it myself. I'm doing it with clients. So why not you? And that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. It's gonna, It's a bit of a special video, I guess, because that's not something I usually do. I'm going to go take a shower now. It was a nice print session. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.